Hey everybody, I'm back and I'm on fire ship still. If you talk to Tetris, she's like, Bubba, listen kid, you can't just stand around on deck, you'll get in everyone's way. I've told Nico to look after you, so you'd better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. That, I believe his name is Gonzo. I don't remember. But yeah, this is... That was loud. <laughs> but yeah, if you climb all the way up this mass ladder thing, to the pro's nest, and look out, you see one of the three midge pirates. We are nowhere near anything. Normally you can see all the islands surrounding you. Not right now. And I think that mast is just short of injuring me. But we are actually moving. Ah, crap. Didn't mean to talk to her again. So yeah, you just go through here. And personally, I think this is a horrible... Like, just architecturally speaking. Walk through door! Fall down! In here is Tetris from... Stop right there! This is Miss Tetris Cabin! Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're letting an outsider in. Don't you even think it! Sorry. But yeah, you... Can't go in there right now. If you smash these pods, they each have one rupee in them. And two more. Go in here, and Nico is waiting for you. Oh well, now. Ahoy there, Swabby. As of today, <coughs> I am your superior, Nico. Now I promise I'll go easy on you. So do as I say, okay? Right. Now first off, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful, like, so you can cram it into your no doubt mushy swabby brain. Uh, that's gonna make my nose run. <laughs> Alright, but the first off, you gotta push the switch. This is the only easy part. Heh. <laughs> Just walk up to it and tilt. What is that? Just up to step on it. Presto! Switch pressed. That's a giant switch. Now, check it out! After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. I love this little... <laughs> so, I was able to jump to this first one myself, but that next one is too far, right? That's when you gotta do this! If you jump right at the rope, you can grab onto it and use the control stick up and down to swing. Swing until you get close enough to the next platform, then press A to let go and jump to it. So, do you think you get out to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try and get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while. One minute to be exact, I believe. So, if you don't get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. It will probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year. One tough year. Full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now, give it a try. This ought to be worth that. This ought to be good for a chuckle or two. And if you mess up, you can always, like, lower the platforms and raise them back up in every session time. There is no getting around this course, really. And, and, except for one unknown secret to me until my last, until my test playthrough. You can actually stop the ropes in the gesture position. If you do this right, you gotta get enough we can go with them. Huh? 
he can actually just skip that last platform. What? You did it already? Uh, I, I, I'm proud to have you as, as my underling. I, I wonder if it's okay to, to give that to it. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. Alright, Suave. I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. Yeah, you're full of yourself, aren't you? Well, in here you can get some money. Not really that important right now. We're almost full to wallet capacity. You can get a bigger wallet later in the game, and in fact, it's required, so. Major chests like this usually have the full animation. You got the spoils bag! You can keep the items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. It can hold up to eight types of items. Press Y, Z, or X on the item screen to see what's inside. Press Y, Z, or X again to set and use one of its contents. Hey, Baba! We've reached the Forsaken Fortress! Hurry up and get up here! I'm pretty sure there's only eight kinds of items you can get for that. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, just climb up here and... I like being a jerk and making him just fall down. Yeah, that's, that's what it looks like when they lower. And when we come outside... When we come outside, it's night time. Take one, two, three steps. Two and a half steps and... Hey, Bubba, here I am, up here. You've got to climb all the way back up there. Because, guess where we are? Nope, not gonna show you. Can you? Huh. That's weird. Come on. Sometimes the rope climbing mechanics are a little like, like the control for it goops up a bit. I like this music. What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Isle. Fortress. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. Dark and foreboding. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago, it used to be the hideout of a no-good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now, the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. <coughs> ah! I knew it! Look! Over there! By that window! Have you ever seen so many seagulls fuck like that before? Um, yeah. It's called a garbage can. I'll bet you anything that's the place where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under a really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? And get used to that look. It means she's got something no good. Huh? Ah! And Link makes awkward noises with himself in the mouth. Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get in a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're gonna launch you good. That's three. Two. Run! Whee! <laughs> I think how they're just waving. 
I also like the look of sheer terror on this face. And there goes the sword. Yeah, this this dungeon sucked for me when I first played it. Because you don't have a sword. And you're in the middle of the enemy's fortress. The Forsaken Fortress. Alright. So, next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, we are going to do the Forsaken Fortress without our sword. Man, that's gonna be tricky, huh? See you next time.